Hi skaters. This video is about rolling in or jumping in as opposed to just dropping in. So it's a request and thank you very, very much for the request. I'm going to show this first on a bank because I think it's a little easier. Or this is easier. a bank here? This is a bank. <laughs> and for me, it was easier to learn how to do this on a bank first before going to like a real transition on like a, a mini ramp or quarter ramp or something. Um, so uh, when you, you know, when you drop in, of course, before you do this, you should know how to drop in and be comfortable dropping in. Good point. But you already know by now that when you drop in, you're going basically straight down. All right. So when you're rolling in, Four. or at least the way I do it, I'm going in sideways, more laterally. Okay. So in my case, I stagger my feet with my left foot in front, right foot behind. So when I go at the roll in, I'm going at it from my left hand side is my most comfortable way. If you feel more comfortable staggered with your right foot in front, left foot behind, you'll probably feel more comfortable rolling in on your right hand side. Okay, so think about that, whatever your most comfortable lead leg is to be, feel more natural at first. But for me, it's left. So I'm showing it from the left, all right? So I'm coming up to it rather slow, not a lot of speed, but I'm rolling forward, leaning forward, just picking up and rolling down, all right? Okay. I'm gonna come back and show that again. So it's not very big. It's a very small pickup. Okay. Right? So you, you just kind of like pick your front foot up and step, you kind of oh, hop, step over I'm leaning the forward, ledge. Hinging, another See it again. important thing, hinging forward at the hips, totally important, bending the knees, feet staggered for better stability and better balance. And right? forward kind of, right? So as I'm leaning forward, I'm looking kind of almost like a lateral curve, almost like a carve down this bank, picking up, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. All right, let's go over to the mini. Go over to the mini. Okay, we're gonna go over here to the mini and Jazz is gonna break it down here. Uh, one thing I learned to do that was really helpful before I was rolling in was a sort of what Kevin calls a cliffhanger, whereas you're rolling one foot along the deck and one foot inside. See that? Kind of hanging one over. Just a little bit. One foot rolling along the coping, one foot kind of hanging down inside. Right? That's Roll, a rolling along. very cool looking trick, I think. All right. Whoa, right to the edge. Okay. So this mini is tiny, so you have very little room, but you can still get the basic principles of it. Um, I did a video about how to cliffhanger in more detail, or what we call cliffhanger, and I will put that in the description down below, because I think it's like a stepping stone to rolling or jumping in. So right. now, I'm going to try to roll in on this one. As you can see, I have very little space. So I'm not going to be gaining a lot of speed, but that's okay because when you're learning it, you're not going to be going super fast anyway, or at least I didn't. I was going pretty slow. So the same basic body position, leaning forward, hinging forward, bending your knees, hinging at the hips, rolling forward, and this time pick up and roll in. Oh. It's a little more challenging than the bank uh -huh. because of course this is more of a transition steeper it's and it steeper. got a coping and there's a coping so now you really have to pick up your feet it doesn't have to be a big jump it can be the tiniest little jump but it just has to mean that you pick up your feet enough that you don't clip the coping that's super important so i'm going to roll at it from this side back up a see little, it again dj jazzy a little roll hinging forward leaning forward looking where i want to go pick up and in nice let's try it again <laughs> smooth forward Leaning forward, pick up, and in. Uh -huh. Actually, once you do this a few times, once you get comfortable with it, you'll probably notice that it feels smoother than dropping in. When I go to drop in from straight forward, from just standing on the coping, it feels very quick, very abrupt, mm -hmm. right? When I go to drop in. But when I go to roll in, if I'm gonna roll into this transition, it feels so much smoother, like I'm on a curve, like I'm on a car, leaning into it. I imagine it slings you and gets you more speed going yeah. in and out. It gives you more speed and kind of more smoothness. Uh 
Oh. And also, if you're trying to set up for something that is sort of lateral, it's a little more natural anyway. So I'm going to go up onto this uh, taller one here. Uh-oh. This little uh, half pipe thingy. And again, it's the same thing here. It's just a little bigger, a little steeper, it's like maybe what, a foot and a half taller or something? Something like that. So it's the same basic thing though. You're rolling forward, looking where you want to go, hinging forward, pick up. Oh. All right. Again, lean forward. That's the most important thing, that you can drop your butt, hinge from your hips and lean forward so you don't loop out backwards. That's really super important. I bet so on this one. Looking where you want to go, leaning in, picking up. Mm. really leaning forward looks like and staying oh, yeah. low i like to think of like um if you were diving like into a pool or something i mean it's not quite that dramatic but if you keep your body position really forward it's so much safer so leaning forward, cool right and the nice thing you don't have to have a, a half pipe or a mini to practice this but it gives you a lot more tries let's see the cliffhanger Oh, what I'll I call just, it. I'll try the cliffhanger. Let's okay, see let's it try. on this because it looks to me it looks very cool when you do this. I actually think the cliffhanger is a little easier than rolling in, and here's why. You mean jumping or jumping? Yeah, here's here. the cliffhanger. Here's cliffhanger. Cliffhanger, cliffhanger. Why do I think it's easier? Because if I mess up, you I just, just sort of sit down. Okay, right? yeah. It's almost like a speed killer, dragging your foot, mm -hmm. kind of slows you down just a little so if you do wreck it doesn't feel quite as fast you kind of have time to recover makes sense I'll try cliffhanger again cliffhanger here's cliffhanger Ooh. Right. and then here's rolling in or jumping in just jumping in right mm -hmm. so they're very similar um hopefully that gives you some ideas of things to practice like i said i'll put the video for how to cliffhanger in the description below a little more detail on that and yeah i hope that helps y'all um practice in in phases take your time wear whatever protective gear makes you feel safe and comfortable and secure confident you know and you know take your time with the banks the small quarters or mini ramps and work up to the big ones you don't have to do the big one right away don't don't think that you have to take your time so you feel confident and uh let us know if you have any comments or suggestions or questions and uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.